Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question number 4 of exercise 2.4, chapter polynomials, class 9th mathematics. So, let's start our video. See the question number 4, for exercise 2.4, question is given factorize and 4 sub questions are there. First one is 12x square minus 7x plus 1. Here, we will use the split method, split method for the middle term for middle term so in this method we will split the middle term in such a way that in such a way that its addition will be here coefficient of this middle term plus at the same time multiplication of that factors will be equal to multiplication of this x square coefficient into last one so here we will split the middle term. So, here we have to split the middle term 7x in such a way. Now, see here middle term is minus 7x. Now, consider only the coefficient of this middle term that is 7, minus 7. So, we have to split the minus 7 in such a way that addition of these two factors will be equal to minus 7. At the same time, multiplication, multiplication, multiplication of two factors must be equal to multiplication of this last constant that is 1 and coefficient of the first term that is 12. So multiplication will be 12 into 1 that is 12. Multiplication of these two factors must be equal to 12 and addition must be equal to minus 7. Now which are the factors? Minus 7, man, minus 7 can be written as minus 4 and minus 3. Just see here, minus 4 and minus 3, that will be equal to minus 7. Addition will be minus 7. And multiplication, minus 4 into minus 3, that multiplication is 12. So, this condition is satisfied for these two factors. See here, minus 7, we can write as minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 6. This is also the condition. This is also one condition where addition of these two factors is minus 7. But multiplication of these two factor minus 1 into minus 6 that is equal to plus 6. But we require 12. So these factors are not our useful factors. Only minus 4 minus 3 are useful. So we will use these two factors. So in the next step we can write 12 x square instead of minus 7 x we will write here minus 4x minus 3x and last term as it is. Now we have converted this polynomial in four terms. Initially we have only three terms. Now this middle term is splitted in two terms. So we are getting four terms here. So now take common which is possible. Take the group of first two terms and group of last two terms. From the first two group, from the first group we can take common which is possible 4x we can take common from these two terms 4x and as 12x here 12x square can be written as 4x into 3 isn't it 4x into 3x we can write 4x square as a 4x into 12x square as a 4x into 3x isn't it so out of these two factors 4x we are taking common so remaining factor we will put in the bracket that is 3x. Then from the minus 4x we have taken 4x common. So remaining only, only will be remaining factor will be only minus 1. Isn't it? In the next group see here no factor is common. So write only minus 1 common here and in the bracket remaining will be 3x minus 1. Why minus 1? Because we have to take 3x minus 1 as a common here. We have to put, we have to bring minus 3x minus 1 as a common. So that's why we have taken minus 1 common. Minus 1 into 3x is minus 3x. Minus 1 into minus 1, we are getting plus 1. That's why we have written here minus 1. Now see here, from these two terms, there are two factors, three factors for the first term. 4, then x and 3x minus 1. And for the second term, there is there are two factors, minus 1 and 3x minus 1. So, this factor, 3x minus 1 and 3x minus 1 is common. So, we can take 
it common so 3x minus 1 this factor we have taken outside the bracket now inside the bracket which terms are remaining 4x is remaining here 4x and from this term minus 1 is remaining so put minus 1 as it is so these are the factors 3x minus 1 will be the first factor and 4x minus 1 will be second factor these factors further cannot be reduced these are the final factor so our answer is for this polynomial 3x minus 1 is one factor and 4x minus 1 is other factor now see the second sub question polynomial is given 2x square plus 7x plus 3 here also we will use the split method for middle term middle term is 7x 7x so consider only coefficient of this middle term 7 now split the 7 in such a way that addition of these factors will be 7 and multiplication will be equal to multiplication will be equal to 2 into 3 that is 6 why 2 into 6 because constant last term is 3 and coefficient of the first term is 2 so take the multiplication of this that is 6 so we require the multiplication of factors of this 7 that will be equal to 6 and addition as a 7 so which are the factors 7 can be written as 1 plus 6 isn't it also we can write 2 plus 5 but see here multiplication of 1 into 6 is 6 that is this satisfies our condition and here 2 plus 5 is also 7 but multiplication is here multiplication is 10 so this factors do not satisfy our condition only 1 and 6 satisfy our condition so we will split 7x as a 1x plus 6x so put in the next step 2x square plus 1x plus 6x plus 3 so it is very simple so in the next step again we now we have four terms so make the group of first two terms and last two terms so that we can take some commons now 2x square 2x square this can be written as 2 into x into x isn't it so and out of these three terms we can take x as a common x as a common from this term and from this term so take x as a common remaining factors remaining terms of this will be 2x 2x and from this term we have taken x common so remaining will be only 1 now in the same mat in the same pattern here 6x can be written as see here 6x can be written as 3 into 2 into x isn't it 3 into 2 into x these are the factors of 6x and out of these we can take common 3 we can take common 3 because 3 is also there so take 3 common so remaining factors will be here only 2x so 2x and 3 we have taken common so here will be only single one because 3 we can write as 3 into 1 so 3 we have taken outside the bracket 1 will be there inside the bracket so now see here from this first term and second term 2x plus 1 is common so take 2x plus 1 common outside the bracket remaining factors from this term x is remaining and from this term 3 is remaining so these are the final factors further cannot be reduced so these are the factors of this polynomial now see the next sub question polynomial is given 6 x square plus 5 x minus 6 here also we will use the middle term split method middle term is 5x now consider only the coefficient of this middle term that is 5 we have to make the factors of 5 in such a way that addition will be equal to 5 and multiplication will be equal to 6 into minus 6 6 into minus 6 multiplication of last term and the coefficient of first term multiplication must be equal to minus 36 and addition of this 5 must factors of 5 must be equal to 5 so 5 can be written as 1 plus 4 but multiplication is here 1 into 4 is 4 but we require minus 36 isn't it 
if we write in such a way that 5 can be written as 2 plus 3 then here also multiplication is 6 but we require minus 36 so go in such a way that addition addition of these factors must be equal to plus 5 and multiplication minus 36 so if we go further see here we can 5 can be written as 8 minus 3 also this is also one method but here also 8 into 3 multiplication is 8 into minus 3 multiplication is minus 24 but if we take 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 addition is plus 5 and multiplication is minus 36 so these factors satisfy our both conditions so we can split 5x as a 9x minus 4x so right here in the next step 6x square plus 9x minus 4x minus 6 try to understand we have to split 5x in such a way that addition of these factors must be equal to 5x and multiplication of these factors must be equal to 6 into minus 6 that is minus 36 here 9 into minus 4 that is minus 36 so this factor satisfy our condition we can split 5x as a 9x minus 4x now there are four terms make the group of first two terms and last two terms and try to take common which is possible from these first two terms first term we can take common as a 3x see here 3x so remaining factors are here 2x and from 9x we have taken 3x common so remaining factor is only 3 plus 3 isn't it see here 6x square can be written as 3 into 2 into x into x isn't it and 9x can be written as 3 into 3 into x now see here which terms are common 3 is common here 3 is common here and x is common here x is common so 3x we have taken outside the bracket remaining factors are 2x and so we have written 2x here and for 9x remaining factor is only 3 so 3 we have written here so this is a simple way now minus 4x and minus 6 see again minus 4x can be written as minus 2 into 2 into x and minus 6 can be written as minus 2 into 3 isn't it so here if we take common which is possible common take minus 2 common only minus 2 is which is common so take minus 2 common and remaining factors in the bracket here remaining 2 into x that is 2x is remaining and here 3 is remaining plus 3 is remaining now see here carefully 2x plus 3 this bracket and this bracket is common for two terms there are two terms first term and two terms so in the next step take 2x plus 3 common and inside the bracket from the first term 3x is remaining so write 3x and from the second term minus 2 is remaining so write minus 2 in the bracket so these are the two factors of this polynomial which further cannot be reduced so our answer is factor for this polynomial is in the first bracket 2x plus 3 and second bracket 3x minus 2 now see the last sub question 3x square minus x minus 4 in this polynomial again see middle term is minus x and coefficient is minus 1 so we have to factorize we have to split this minus 1 in such a way that addition will be equal to minus 1 but at the same time multiplication must be equal to 3 into minus 4 that is 3 into minus 4 multiplication must be minus 12 isn't it multiplication we require minus 12 and addition we require minus 1 if we take trial and error method we can write minus 4 plus 3 so here addition is minus 1 and multiplication is minus 12 so these two factors are so these two factors satisfy our condition so we can split middle term minus x as minus 4x plus 3x so right here 3x square minus 
फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री एंड लास्ट टर्म माइनस फोर एज इट इज थ्री एक्स लास्ट टर्म माइनस फोर एज इट इज नाउ देर आर फोर टर्म्स मेक द ग्रुप ऑफ फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स एंड लास्ट टू टर्म्स नाउ थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर वी कैन राइट एज थ्री इंटू एक्स इंटू एक्स एंड माइनस फोर एक्स वी कैन राइट एज माइनस फोर इंटू एक्स सो विच टर्म्स आर कॉमन हियर x is common here also here also take x common and remaining factors inside the bracket we have taken x common remaining are 3x so right 3x and from the 4x we have taken x common remaining is minus 4 so right minus 4 here and from the second term 3x minus 4 here nothing is common isn't it So take only plus one common. Nothing means plus one, and in the bracket three x minus four as it is. Now see here, there are again two terms, first term and second term. From the first term and second term, three x minus four is common. So we can take common three x minus four this bracket, and in the second bracket remaining terms that is x, and here plus one. so these are the factors further cannot be reduced so these are the final factor for this polynomial thus we have studied and solved all the sub questions and found how to factorize the given polynomial with the help of middle term split method this is all for this video thank you